so uh, today's tutorial is about memory and pld theory part we have covered in the class so let's uh, take out uh, one or two problems and try to understand more about the operation of memory and pld okay so uh, the first question is uh, realize the following functions using 8 into 4 prompts right okay so uh, like we said uh, prompts can be used to uh, store data and it can also be used to realize uh, functions also uh, storing data uh, what I mean is uh, you have few address lines you can uh, give that address and take that uh, full output from the register okay uh, so it could be an 8 bit data or 16 bit data uh, whatever it is the case may be so uh, here in this case there are uh, three uh, functions which I have given so we need to uh, implement it using the prompts so uh, first of all uh, in such cases the first step is to find out the min terms right so the for the first expression it is a dot b and b dot c so here to find out the min term we got to insert an uh, c so we write a dot b into uh, c dash plus c so these terms have been uh, um, incorporated similarly here there is no a so a dash and a have been so this the first term has been expanded into two the second term also since there is no a we have expanded it into uh, two okay so uh, once we do that then we know okay what does this stands for uh, this is one one zero right so uh, this is one 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 which stands which uh, is seven this is one one zero which is uh, 6 this is 0, 0, 001 which which is 1 and uh, this is uh, 101 which which is uh, 5 right so we know the min terms for the first function for the second function uh, again it is given in the, in the sum in the form of product of sums uh, here also if you see uh, a dash plus b so the entire terms are not there so we need to uh, insert c dash and c right so now you have three terms so uh, this corresponds to uh, uh, 1 0 1 which is 5 this uh, this is 0 1 0 2 uh, and this is uh, uh, 0 1 1 uh, 0 okay is there some error here 0 1 1 right this doesn't uh, corresponds to th that is uh, 3 out here this is a dash 101 uh, which is 5 and this is uh, a dash b uh, c this is 2 this should have been 4 uh, this should have been 3 so there is an uh, uh, error out here ok nevertheless uh, let, let's uh, concentrate on the procedure so once you have the max terms the complement will be the min terms ok so once we write the uh, min terms okay whatever terms are not covered in the max terms will become uh, min terms okay uh, for the third one also similarly we expanded now, uh, a we, we, we uh, so we need to put in a b and c so there will be a uh, four combinations of b and c so b dash c dash b dash c b c dash and b c uh, and for the uh, last one also we need to put okay uh, those two so one of them is already covered so only one has come here so we collect the min terms so once we know the min terms right now we are going to uh, put in fixed uh, in the uh, when we say prom so it will have all the because we in the prom if you remember in the theory class i said it is we are going to use a decoder uh, decoder means uh, all the min terms will be available here you know okay we we can't program anything all the min terms will be there and there will be and gates corresponding to all the min terms will be available all that we need to do is we need to uh, uh, make a uh, connection wherever required okay these connections we have learnt in the theory class there are various means of making these connections in eprom it is electrically programmed and erasable uh, and and then for uh, for double EEPROM and for a single EEPROM it is electrically programmable and through ultraviolet rays it can be erased so these connections are to be done 
So, uh, now if you see for the first function, uh, function wherever there is min term 1, 5, 6, 7, we just put the crosses there. That means, wherever we put the cross, those connections are going to be uh, made. So, we just put all the connections out here. Is uh, this uh, aspect clear to all of you? Uh, how to tackle these kind of problems? What about the cr crosses above the uh, AND gates? Okay. Uh, for an, uh, this will, will have to do this programming for an uh, PLA and uh, for a PLA uh, and PAL, right? Whereas for an PROM, these connections will already be done. It will be fixed. All the min terms will be available for an uh, PROM, right? Okay, that is the difference we got. See, uh, PROM is used uh, for implementing the function. It is also used as a memory register. Memory register means uh, you can put for 0000, if you give the address line, if you use ABC as the address line 0000, then you can put some 8 bit data here and take out the output from these uh, entire M0 to M7 uh, directly from here. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, you you can take the uh, output from. Uh, you can take a seven. Uh, these connections are been uh, are made. Once these connections are made, you can take out the. Uh, uh, you can you can have seven lines like this. Okay, seven uh, eight lines like this, and that will become an eight bit parallel data which is there in prompts. Okay, is it understood? Let me explain it once more in prompts only in, in the case of prompts okay you will have uh, all these lines which will be there all these vertical lines also will be there and in prompts there will be eight different lines here like f1 f2 f3 there will be eight different lines okay so uh, when i give 0 0 0 i can read that 8 bit data similarly when i give b i can read the next 8 bit data when i give uh, when I give 002, it, I can read the, the third set of data. So, prompts are generally used in, in our CPUs and in our to, uh, pro, to, uh, to load a specific program like the BIOS program. Uh, initially, when you switch on the power supply, okay, the computer has to run certain checks. Okay, it, it will run some uh, internal, uh, uh, it is known as built-in test. Built, it will it will check various, uh, all the sub-components are working properly. It will go to the BIOS setup. So, all those programs uh, uh, is done uh, through ROM. Okay, it, it, it is not in the hard disk. Okay, even if there is no hard disk, still the BIOS setup and the test setups will, will run and then subsequently, and now once that program is over, only then it will go to the hard disk to check for the operating system. So, that initial set of programming which is required for the uh, computer on switching on the power supply is run in the, uh, is run in the ROM. And uh, what is ROM? ROM? Okay, in, for a 32-bit processor, okay, there will be, uh, these address lines will be 5, 5 of them. For a 64-bit uh, processor, the address lines will be and accordingly, uh, I think, and it will be 6. So, all these lines. So, se sequentially, each address will be increased. And as you keep increasing the um, address, there will be 8 different, uh, uh, say, if it is a 16-bit processor, there will be 16 lines out here or 32 lines or what. So, that parallelly, that data will be uh, read. Okay, so as you there will be one counter which will keep increasing the address line count and parallelly that data will be uh, read out. Okay, all the lines will be activated. So all the from those lines, as per whatever program you have done, data will be read and the CPU will uh, run that uh, program whatever is written in the ROM. Is this aspect clear to all of you? Sir, instead of the fixed land array, we can simply use the 3 into 8 decoder, right? Uh, including, this is a decoder only, okay, you, you can call it an AND array uh, or, or if the way it is implemented, okay, it, it will be a decoder. So, this, this whole thing will, decoder is also nothing, it is an uh, uh, same thing. Decoder is what, an inverters and AND only, right? Yes, sir. Okay, it, it is a decoder only. So, this is how the ROMs function. Uh, are you clear now uh, what is a ROM and how does it work in a computer or a laptop? 
okay okay so uh, so and the rom can also be used for generating functions that is the second thing right when we are generating a function we are only talking about one particular line but when we are uh, talking a rom in a computer it will be that full data bus the entire data parallel 8 bit data or 24 bit data will be generated here each function is generated so you need to uh, put the cross okay uh, from the exam point of view uh, it, it will be uh, simple you will not take more than 30 seconds to solve these questions some functions will be given some graphs will be given you need to select where the correct crosses are being put or not so it will be uh, simple from the exam point of view right. otherwise under okay uh, this is the uh, second question a boolean function is defined by the table so uh, these are the inputs these are the uh, functions which have been given and you need to imp implement using a PLA having uh, three inputs uh, three product terms and two outputs okay so the difference from a ROM and PLA is the PL for a ROM essentially when I say see, uh, uh, whatever is the um, address line line okay uh, so uh, 2 to the power of n uh, uh, horizontal or gates will be available for sure because uh, it, it it is primarily uh, required for uh, taking data out right there will be data you give a data and those many data whereas um, whereas in the in, in this case right for a pal the or there may not be those many you know, or lines because it is not meant to store some program or something it is pals are specifically designed to do some functions so each pal any manufacturer he will say okay only three product terms are available or two outputs are available so there will be a restriction because here uh, uh, the idea is to make it compact okay uh, so this is why there, that is why there will be some restrictions in the number of product terms and it says only two outputs are available and three product terms are available so uh, in our case uh, uh, the number of product terms which we require is one two three and and four but then these are common so uh, this this product is common so we can use it in a, a common for uh, f1 and f2 so let's see how it is uh, implemented so so this is just uh, writing in terms of uh, uh, main terms okay so there is nothing and the same thing we are just because it's a, a table truth table uh, given here so we are writing it in the uh, sum of product forms so uh, f1 uh, from this truth table it, it comes out to be a dash plus ac and f2 comes out to be ac plus bc so these are the two uh, two f1 and f2 uh, so uh, for an uh, a PLA program if, if you see uh, both the function they, there are uh, uh, we are got to use uh, three product terms right it says key maximum there are three product terms so from here we take a dash b dash as an uh, uh, a b dash as one of the product terms okay and the output is uh, for f1 then the next product term is a c so it is two so this is uh, a and c are high where it is applicable to both the functions this is the PLA program table okay and this is BC uh, BC is available here so 1 1 so that is that is only meant for the uh, F2 so one of the product terms is common for both them and and then you have one each individually right so now you need to once this is done uh, we just have to make the uh, connection so this is the AND plane so this is taken from some other textbook so instead of crosses they have explicitly shown all the connections so uh, here if you see so this connection is to be uh, made here these two connections for the AND gate uh, this is A which is coming and, and this if you see it is B bar right and, and for the second gate uh, it is A and, and this is coming from C which is common to both the gates or gates so you are taking it out here so it is common to both the uh, or gates whereas then the third one okay uh, from the from the two table it is it is c and and this is uh, oh, what is the function if third one is bc so so this this is going to uh, come from b from here from here so this is bc 
uh, which is given to uh, only this gate okay so this is and like i said uh, most, uh, most of the plas will have an uh, and or invert function also right so here we need not invert it so we uh, there will be you know if a uh, if a diagram is given like this you need to short this inverts that means we are we don't require this uh, invert connections also okay the reason why and or invert is given because uh, and or invert generates uh, simplifies a lot of uh, uh, expressions boolean expressions and it is easy to implement in cmos i showed you the layout in the class also so and or invert even in the uh, layout also it is very very uh, simple it compacts everything so and whereas for programming also uh, when we do the plc program this and or invert module will be available so you can just drag and drop it into your schematic and do the necessary connections and implement the functions so that is the importance of and or invert so uh, here that is why this invert is shown here so if a diagram uh, will be uh, generally for an exam point of view these diagrams will be there uh, you will have to make these uh, connections functions will be given and you need to make this connection uh, connections okay so you so i think it is simple you will be able to do that uh, is this aspect clear to all of you shall we uh, move ahead yeah okay okay the the the, pro, the third problem is uh, using a uh, using a pal okay so uh, in the in the pal uh, we know that the and plane cannot be uh, programmed we no the or plane uh, cannot be uh, programmed it will be fixed okay uh, it will be fixed it will be given by the manufacturer itself okay we don't have a so we'll have to see what is the manufacturer offering to us uh, he will have different kind of pals so we'll have to select depending on our uh, functions what we have we'll have to select the appropriate pal in the uh, real digitals uh, here in the examination point of view though it is very quite simple but otherwise when we are actually programming it for a pal so we need to pick up the appropriate um, pal okay so uh, if you see these are the four uh, functions which are uh, given here so again uh, so we need to make it in, into the uh, sum uh, sum of product form so we have written for w x y and z so in the z if we observe this w is a subset of uh, z here so a b c a b c so we can these two terms can be written as uh, w okay why we are writing it here also if you see it, it, it is 2 12 and 13 2 12 and 13 is available in z also so that becomes a uh, subset here so uh, and the why we are writing this as a subset is because if you see the uh, pal implementation here okay this uh, we covered in the theory class also one of the outputs is uh, given back as a feedback and that is also available in the and plane so we can uh, program the even even those lines also so that is the reason um, the first input we we generally if it is going to be common and available we are going to use it as an uh, input for the other functions we can put it in the first row and we can accordingly do the programming so now now uh, we did this and then uh, this is just to indicate where all the crosses have to be ma made in the uh, and inputs okay for a b c it is a b uh, and at, uh, 0 0 indicates a bar right so now uh, the uh, the mistake which we do in the exams is we tend to neglect this zero we can't neglect this zero okay dash is neglected zero means uh, anybody what does zero means c bar yeah yeah on the c bar line we need to make a cross there okay so uh, don't just make crosses at only the ones and leave it okay so wherever there are zeros okay we need to make the uh, cross and the corresponding complement column okay this zero means a bar so in the a bar column we made we need to make the cross okay so uh, this is uh, generally uh, in, 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 when when we are under pressure to complete the exam in time we tend to forget these zeros and just uh, do the crosses at the 
ones. So, be careful with that. So, you need to uh, put cross uh, cross also uh, for the zeros. Only difference is we need to make it in the complementary uh, of the function whatever is written above. Right. So, so now uh, we make uh, yeah here like for a, a b and it is c bar for the first function a b c bar. So, we make for the first there are, it is specified ok. So, this diagram you do not have to worry about it because this is a structure of a some pal which is already available with you. you your task is only to uh, program it by putting these uh, crosses ok. So, in a uh, real life uh, scenario in a digital circuit you are, you know, this table this table is important. So, these tables we got to program it in the um, uh, uh, we have to give it in the when we are programming the uh, um, pal right in the pro uh, initially whether it is programming an eprom um, uh, uh, whatever method we are using it for and uh, we have learnt about different methods. So, we program this data here and uh, when we burn it we say we burn the uh, ok. Uh, so, this you might have uh, heard that you know you are, uh, we burn the data into CD. Uh, anybody has heard this this terminology yeah so it came from the uh, this uh, history of burning comes from that uh, in the in the class theory class we uh, learnt about the fuses being burnt off by giving a uh, power supply right so uh, in so that's how uh, that terminology of uh, burning data into cd it, it started off from prom and still we are using it in the whereas actually we are not burning anything in the cd uh, so we are we are only uh, writing the data uh, like an in eprom we are not burning anything right but but in the earlier proms you know, we used to burn the uh, fuses so that terminology you know, so people started using from those days and it is uh, still used by uh, many of them right okay so, now if you see uh, this w and w bar is available here also. So, for, for the last function which we are implementing right here it is uh, uh, w plus the these terms. So, you can you will see the w line we have put a cross out here. So, one and gate is used here and then the next term is uh, a c dash d dash. So, it is a c dash d dash this and gate and the uh, third and get oh, okay sorry third a, a dash b dash c dash d so and it is uh, a dash b dash c dash and d so that get is so this becomes the uh, third function which is z similarly for y and x also uh, you can do these things so uh, uh, i think these are going to be some problems for your exams all these three kind of uh, problems will be there so i think you will be able to uh, so now do it correctly i don't think you will lose any marks on these questions okay uh, here the expressions for um, what is avipal asking sir here the expressions for w x y z will initially be in terms of a b c d we need to reduce these using k map k maps and implement uh, no uh, these are these are the uh, output functions w x y z right and these are the inputs so uh, you, uh, you don't have to use k maps you just have to write it in the product of some uh, you can expand it, it and write it like this not necessarily from the min terms right you can, you can uh, straight away uh, uh, write, uh, write this you don't have to make uh, uh, min terms like uh, uh, 2 is what? Uh, 2 is uh, uh, ok. Yeah, you may uh, use kmap to simplify the expressions. You can use it. Uh, otherwise, Boolean expression also you can do. Uh, you might have to because otherwise, uh, this A has come uh, no, by simplification only, I guess it would not come directly. So, you need to uh, use the k map or something to yeah. why is there a, a single input uh, uh, and gate uh, yeah uh, because uh, 
uh, okay that is the representation actually okay uh, it means it is just coming in a straight uh, that there is a short which is put here okay single input and gate where is it we can see it here right uh, it is because there are uh, several lines are available okay it could be an and gate if you put more than one connections okay since you have put only one connections and uh, 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 you can remove this and put it directly here but uh, uh, but that doesn't look uh, no, because it is configured as an and gate in the hardware so that means so you can put it so you, there are other lines also available which are uh, into this and gate right okay this and gates has got several input lines uh, lines but we we have not configured them we have only given input into one of the lines so it, that is why we are right we we don't actually uh, have to short those lines actually if you see the uh, structure of um, this is not a typical and gate okay what are these these are actually uh, two lines which are uh, running one over the other okay uh, so we are calling it as an and gate right but, but it is not a typical and gate okay uh, what is how is this and gate uh, implemented there the one uh, set of lines is uh, running parallelly uh, okay in say uh, vertically like this and other set of lines are uh, running uh, horizontally uh, below it and there is an insulator in between so whenever we are making a short circuit between these two by digging a hole into the insulator and we are going to deposit some metal there okay so then this will become an uh, like so this signal whatever is available here that is coming here similarly in this line also if you are going to dig from here and here then the signal will come from here to here also right so why we are calling it as an and gate we are calling it a and gate if you see the circuit if a is 1 and and b is 0 then the uh, then the whatever is the voltage available at a now it is given through a resistor so that out that voltage will become zero and that is the reason b also will be uh, zero so uh, that is why we are calling it as an uh, and gate okay is it uh, uh, understood okay so uh, if you see the theory class notes okay if it is not understood i can open up that uh, theory part so there are uh, this is a not a typical and it, it are two vertical lines which are connected here so this i have explained in the class okay why that uh, 2 has to be high to for this line to be uh, high both a and b has to be high okay so that kind of examples i have covered in the class okay is there uh, any other doubts anybody if there are uh, no doubts then we'll uh, stop it here